How many handbags does a girl need? That's a good question. And it's one that probably there's no clear cut answer for. All I can say is, I've got too many. So for today's decluttering challenge, I'm decluttering my handbags. So keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today's chaos is focused on the handbags. And I'm always one to say, if you've got more stuff that will fit into the space you have it for, you've got too much stuff. And I have one small closet, and this is a small closet. It's probably the size of the closet that were in the old houses because my house is an old house. It's probably 50 years old. So I don't have those big, spacious walk-in closets that you see in a lot of the YouTube videos today. I got more standard size closets. So in our bedroom, we've got one large closet. It's not a walk-in, but it's good size. And then a small, traditional closet that's probably about 33 inches wide. And I keep my handbags on that top shelf. And I've got handbags up there, handbags in a crate at the bottom of the closet, handbags hanging on doors. I decided these handbags have to go. So I'm going to bless some people with some of them. And some of them, depending upon the condition they're in, may be discarded. And then some will get put back in the closet, but in a much more organized state. So, I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes and I'm going to get started. But, because the space is so small, there's just no way I can work in that space. I'm going to put the handbags on the floor here. And then once I get them all sorted out, then I'll take the ones that I'm going to keep upstairs and put them in the space. The other thing is, I'm not sure what kind of organizer I want for the handbags. I did go online, I looked at Pinterest, I looked at Amazon, I looked at JCPenney, and I saw kind of a couple that I thought I might like. So we'll see what I actually end up with, and I'll show you that as well. But in the meantime, I have to get started on the handbags, so I'm gonna get started on those down here in the living room floor. If you're new to my channel, I ask you to please subscribe. If you like plan with me videos, if you like clean with me videos, decluttering videos, lifestyle videos, then please join me on a regular basis and you can do that by subscribing and hit that little bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you're one of my continuing subscribers and you're thinking, what's up with the backdrop? Well, I have a new backdrop and I'll tell you where that's from. I retired from my day job recently and my family put on the most amazing, amazing retirement party for me. And they had a step and repeat at the party. So this is one of those things where you have like a red carpet and this was on the carpet and people would stop in front of it and get their picture taken. I felt like a queen. I'm really, I felt like I was queen for a day. It was just an amazing party. And after everything was all turned down, rolled up, brought home, I'm thinking, what am I gonna do with this backdrop? So I decided to put it over my other backdrop and just kind of use it for a while. So I don't want you guys to think I'm being pretentious, but I just loved it so much. I just couldn't see not using it more. So that's why it's there. So anyway, let's get this decluttering started. These are all the handbags that I need to address. I mean, just look at all of these. I've got Dooney and Burks and tote bags and bags, Vera Bradley bags and Cindy B bags and brief bags and just all kind of bags that I need to address. So I'm going to get started. This is the bag that I'm currently carrying right now and it is my Dooney and Burke bag. I am a Dooney girl. So this is the bag that I'm currently carrying. So I'll set this one aside and go ahead and get started on the rest. So I will set my timer. However, I know this job is gonna take me more than 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna to have to do is set the timer. When the timer goes off, then I'll have to stop and finish the process. That means put away or 
put in the donate bag and put out in the car or put in the trash or whatever, but I'll finish the process with the first set of bags that I go through for my first 15 minutes and then I can set the timer again. So, let's get started. Let's get all these out of the bags so that we can see which bags they are. Small tote, large tote, coach bag. I took a walk on the dark side and bought this coach, so there's that. Now, this bag is a sack, and I love it, but look what's happening to it. The last time I carried it, my sister-in-law chastised me. She says, what are you doing carrying a bag like that? All the nice bag that you have. So this one is going to be discarded. So that's going. You know this one, I like it, but I really don't use it much anymore. I use it when I go to sorority functions when I want to carry a yellow bag, so. But I've got another yellow one over here. So let's see, which one do I want to keep? I'm only keeping one yellow bag. I do like this lining. It's got lots of pockets inside. I like slouchy bags. So I think I'll keep this one and discard this one. So now let's see what's in this bag. A bunch of tote bags. This whole thing is just full of tote bags. From conferences and meetings and one tote bag after another. So these tote bags back in here and then when I have to take something somewhere I can put it in a bag and leave the bag with it. This is another one of those little take along grocery bags. I don't need that. This one can go catch, catch that. This is a nice little bag. I'll keep it in here. I suppose whatever of those little bags, if they don't fit in here, then they can't stay. So there's that. So this I'm definitely keeping. I can put my computer and other things in it, so briefcase. So keep this. I'll set it over here for now. This old purse, you know, I haven't carried it for a while. I do like it. But lately I've been really tired of when I, I tend to like hobo bags. But as you know, when you put stuff in it, then everything falls to the bottom. So I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this or not. We'll see, we'll put it right there. This is one of those book bags my son sent it to us. He worked on the film, All Eyes on Me. He was part of the crew. And so this was one of his wrap gifts. So, I'm going to keep it, so that can go there. This is just a bag that one of the Doonies came in. This is one of my carriers that I got from 30-something, and I've got another companion bag that is just a nice little tote. So there's that. This is a Mary Kay tote that a friend gave me years ago. I use it as a carry-on when I travel, so it's a great bag for that. It's got lots of pockets, so I'm keeping that. This is my small take-along computer bag. I'm keeping that. This is a little small purse that I take to sorority with me when I need something small, when I go to sorority regional, and I want a small crossbody, so I keep that. Oh, I've got another crate of bags. 
There's the timer. So, so I will go ahead and finish the process. So I know that I'm keeping these right here for now. So I'm going to leave those. The ones that I'm going to dispose of, I'm going to take out and put in the trash so that I don't end up bringing them back in the house. The ones I'm going to donate, I'm going to put in the trunk of my car because I've got a box of stuff out there in the trunk of the car that I'm going to be donating. So let me go ahead and take care of that and then I'm going to come back and I'll set the timer for 15 more minutes. Here's a small crossbody dooney that I really love. This was the first dooney that I got. My son gave it to me as a birthday gift and that's how it all started. So I will put it over here with my other doonies. Now this bag is such a little cutie. It's really very retro and I had a skirt that matched it exactly. It was made out of the same fabric. And whenever I wore it, people commented on how cute it was. And it just looks so ladylike. And I don't use it very often. It's kind of a statement piece, very retro. But I think I'll keep it. So I'll put it right here. This is one of those little pieces that kind of serve as a wallet, like a little teeny clutch thing. If I really don't want to take a big bag, I can just tuck this inside my briefcase. And my dad gave me this, and he's been gone for about five years now, so I kind of want to keep it for sentimental purposes. So I'll put it over there with some of my smaller bags. Now this bag, Should probably go. I've had this bag for I know at least 10 years and the zipper sticks a lot. It's a sack and I do love it but sometimes the zipper sticks. The handle has been repaired several times and I didn't use it this summer at all just because I didn't want the aggravation of the sticking zipper so I'm going to put it in a discard pile. Not the Goodwill pile but the discard pile, because actually, it's time for it to go. This is a little guest bag, and when my granddaughter is here, many times, she'll use this one. If she forgets to bring a purse and she wants something that's small, she'll use that, so I'll keep that. This is something that I got at the Dust Nest thrift shop. It's just a little purse. I think it was a bridal thing, but it's just like something to put your jewelry in. I got it for $3 at the thrift shop, and it's amazing. You can put things down in here. There's three zippers here, so I'm definitely keeping this. And it can be with my clutches, so I'll put this over here for now. Oh, and in here, I've got two nice little retro bags. I got them at Casual Corner many moons ago, but I've got this kind of a blue one and it matches a bomber jacket that I've got. And then I've also got kind of a burgundy, peakish one. So I like both of these. And sometimes I'm feeling a little retro and the shape and style of them are kind of popular right now, so I'm gonna keep these. So I'll just set these over here. So now the question is, how do I plan to store things? So these are the ones that I'm keeping. These are the handbags that I'm gonna be using on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, and there's a couple over here. Let me grab them. I'm gonna be putting this one in the closet to save for sorority functions, and in the fall too, sometimes I like to use this color. So that's going to go there. This one I'm giving away to my sister, and I'm giving it away tomorrow. So there's that. I think I've got as much stuff as I started with to figure out, but I do have this crate, and I think I'm going to put some of those bags that are seasonal or totes back in this crate. This is kind of large. Maybe I'll just hang it on a hook.
there's no room for this in there. Looks like this is popping up a little bit. I might have to have my husband fix that. So I've got this to put somewhere. I'll hang that on a hook. Maybe this can go up above with the other bags there. And then I've got all these bags of totes. So, I'm all finished with my purging. What I'm giving away is in another pile. What I'm putting away now is here. And then this is the one that I'm currently using. So now to get these from here upstairs and into the space where they're going to live. And this is the pile that's being discarded and donated. This is the closet shelf that the handbags are going to go on and they have to fit up there. This is where I want the ones that I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis to go. And I did see an organizer on the JCPenney website that would fit up there. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna be able to just stack them on the shelves and see how they go. So I brought them up and set them down on the floor, but you can see how much room they're taking up just in that little scrum right there. But they're gonna come off of the floor and up on the shelf. And then the crate that had those other bags in is gonna go in this closet in the corner on the floor as well as those other totes so that's where they're going to go for now and you can see why i did my decluttering downstairs and not in this tiny little space because it is just tiny in here oh and the other thing i went through all the bags to see if i had left anything in them and i found Two sets of house keys, both of which had been lost. So I had lost a set of house keys, so my husband made me another set. Lost another set, my husband made me another set. I found both sets in handbags, just like stuffed in the handbags when I had stuck them in the closet. I think I'm going to tuck the straps down inside, the shoulder straps down inside the bag. I think that'll be helpful. So they're the handbags that I'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm really pleased with how they're looking right now. I still plan to get something to help me organize them a little bit better. But in the meantime, they're all in there. So there's the crate and the backpack there. And you know what? Let's just put this behind the crate. There we go. I'm gonna put this out in the garage in my don't see pile. And if I just can live with it out there for six months, then I can go ahead and discard it. So there we are. There's all the small bags, the clutches, the bags that I use for special occasions or vintage bags, whatever, are in the crate. The backpack that I wanna keep as a memorabilia from the film my son worked on is in the closet as well. Here are all my purses that I'll be using on that show. So I'm pretty pleased with what I've gotten done today. So now I just need to get my dresses back in the closet. Thank you so much for joining me on day 17 of this decluttering challenge as hosted by the Clutterbug. As I said earlier, I am so glad that she has issued this challenge because I have really reduced some of the chaos and some of the private spaces in my home. I am just so glad that she's issued this challenge because I have certainly been working it. I hope you have found this a good opportunity for you to get rid of some of the clutter in your home. So as always, please like, share, and subscribe. As I said earlier, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I hope you will join me tomorrow to see what am I working on 
next time. This is Denise Jordan saying goodbye.